Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how you can add Lori animated icons or illustrations in Swift. So let's begin. Okay, so let's go to shape.so. Over there we will choose an animated illustration. Let's select this one. Okay, now let's go to preview and let's change its color to blue. Yeah, this looks better. Then I will hit download. Now let's go to Xcode. We need to create a new Xcode project. So let's select this one. And let's choose single view app. Okay, we can hit next. Now we need to add a product name. And let's name this new folder check as well. Now let's hit on next. And let's create a new folder. And we will name it check again. Hit and create. Let's choose the folder, create again. Let's wait for a while, boom, there you go. We have a new project now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add the JSON file and we will put it just under the check folder. Make sure that you have all these boxes enabled and then hit on finish. Now that we have our JSON file in our project, the next thing we need to do is to add the Lottie package. To do so, let's go to the menu bar and over there, let's click on file, then Let's choose Swift Packages and then let's choose Add a Package Dependency. Okay, great. Now, what we need to do here is to paste the GitHub URL of the Lottie library. So let's go to GitHub. Now in GitHub, you just need to copy the URL, go back to Xcode and paste it. Then let's click on Next. Okay. One more time Next. And then Finish. Good. Now let's choose the main storyboard because we want to see the view controller. And let's hit on the plus icon. Now, we need to look for view. We need to add an empty view so we can use this box to add our animated illustration. We make sure that it's center and then we give to the empty view a width and height of 400. And let's center again the empty view. Now, we can add some constraints to the empty view so let's go to the bottom and let's click over here and let's check on width and height and then click on add to constraint. Perfect. And we can add some alignment. So let's click over here and let's check these two boxes and then hit on add to constraints. Now let's go to the identity inspector and over there, let's create a class and we will name it animation view. Okay, good. Now let's add some code. So let's add the editor on the right and we can change the main storyboard for the view controller dot swift. And over there, let's select the animation view and drag the empty view just underneath the class. Perfect. And on name, we can type animation view. Nice. What we need to do next is to import the Lottie library. So underneath import UI kit, let's write import Lottie. Okay, good. Now let's type Lottie animation. Open and close parentheses. Now we need to create a function. So let's go over here and let's type func Lottie animation. Open parentheses, close parentheses. Open curly brackets. And over here we can put let animation view equals animation view open parenthesis then name we need to put over there the name of our json file so let's go to our json file let's copy the name let's go back to our code just over here and let's paste the name but make sure the name is inside quotation marks okay nice so let's add some properties to our animation so let's type animation view dot frame equals CG rect open parenthesis and we can put x zero y zero with we can add 400 and the height 700 okay perfect now we can type animation view dot center equals self dot view dot center then let's type animation view dot content mode 
equals dot scale aspect fit and then view dot add to view and inside the parentheses we can put animation view perfect finally let's type animation view dot play which will play the animation itself and we also want that our animation can loop once we finish the animation so we can type animation view dot loop mode equals dot loop okay perfect now to see our animation we just have to click on the play button this window will pop up and there you go you have our Lottie animation so if you guys like the video please subscribe don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any comments you know feel free to put it in the comment section i will see you in the next one bye